uh, honestly, I wasn't ex it's spicy. Dry dip is my absolute favorite cut of beef. So we are going all in to create the best flavors and the juiciest dry tip we have created so far. Stick around and watch how it's done. If you want the perfect tri-tip, you start by selecting the best piece of meat you can find. I've got a beautiful heritage Canadian Angus tri-tip, hormone-free, antibiotics-free. This is an absolute beauty and it will provide us with a lot of flavor and a lot of juiciness. Tri-tip consists of three parts. In each of these parts, the grain runs in a different direction. That is something to remember when you're slicing later on. To make it perfect, we're going to carve into the fat cap. Carving into the fat cap will help it render down more easily during the cooking process and ultimately make our fat more crispy and tasty. Now it's time to start working on our seasoning. For our barbecue seasoning, I selected these beautiful spices, starting off, of course, with one part fleur de sel, one part black pepper, one part paprika powder, half a part curry powder, one eighth part of onion powder, one eighth part of garlic powder, and one eighth part of cayenne powder. Now we're going to mix that all up and give it a good shake so everything is well blended. These flavors are going to make this tri-tip exceptional. We have seasoned the meat side with our tri-tip barbecue seasoning and we're sprinkling salt on top of the fat cap. This salt is fleur de sel, a sea salt shaving. It's a really light and a beautiful finishing salt. Be smart! Put only salt on your fat cap. If you put seasoning on your fat cap and you start searing, chances are they're gonna burn. Our tri-tip is as ready as it will ever be. So let's fire up our grill. I loaded up the master built gravity fat smoker with big block charcoal and set it to 120 degrees Celsius, which is 240 degrees Fahrenheit. It hit it in no time. I also added wood chips for smoke flavor and the smoke is now coming. It's time to put our tri-tip on. We'll put the thermometer in our tri-tip, close the lid and let the master build do its job. It's so easy with this thing and it creates a beautiful smoke profile. By the way, did you guys check out our podcast already? It's freaking awesome. We already had Jason Wee Man from Jackass on. How cool is that, right? And we got so many other cool things going on. Eric setting everything on fire. So you guys got to check it out. Link is down below in the video description. And we got to go back to our beautiful tri-tip and see how it turns out. Our tri-tip is done. It reached a core temperature of 52 degrees Celsius. We're taking it off our master build and set it aside. Oh, look at that beauty. <laughs> but it's not done yet. We're going to boost the temperature of the master build to a whopping 370 degrees Celsius. That's hot. We seared our tri-tip and rendered down that fat cap with that beautiful saltiness so we created an awesome flavor profile. Let's give this tri-tip 10 minutes to relax while we make the best tasting steak sauce known to mankind. It starts with half a cup of ketchup followed by a quarter cup of sherry vinegar, two tablespoons of maple syrup, two teaspoons of Worcester sauce, two tablespoons of our tri-tip barbecue rub, and to finish it off, one tablespoon of mustard. Mix that all up and make sure you bring it to a boil. When that's done, let it cool down, put it in a jar and see how easy that is. Mm -hmm. 
And that is how you cook tri-tip. This looks absolutely fantastic. It looks juicy. It's pink all the way to the edges. A nice crispy fat cap on top. What more can you wish for, right? Of course, we still need to try it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce on the board and dip my steak into it. When I see something like this, it just makes me happy. Mm. Mm. So first off, I'm going to slice this thinner. A little bit sauce. Mmm, that is tasty. Good sauce. You know what that is? A lot of flavor. Now a little bit of that fat cap. That fat cap is different than normal. Mm. Because you taste a little bit of char on it, but like in a good way. Do never ever take your fat cap off your tri-tip. It's the best part. I love it. But that sauce. I must admit, I sliced it a little bit too thick. That makes it a little bit tough. But hey, the flavor's there, the rub's there, a little bit of that smoke flavor, and that barbecue sauce. It's so easy to make. You should try it. Uh, honestly, I wasn't expecting. It's spicy. I love it. Oh, man. You see the crust? It's almost like a schnitzel. schnitzel. I love schnitzel. I love schnitzel. Oh, so that's a good thing. It's a good thing. We just cooked up a fantastic tri-tip. It's the absolute freaking bomb. If you've never tried it before, man, you gotta try. Go to your butchers, ask him for some. And if he doesn't have it, order some. Definitely, definitely get it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then you know what to do, right? So let's skip that part and go straight to the more important business. Did you know about what's going on on podcast? Uh-huh. Links down below. Big thank you to our patrons and our YouTube members. You guys freaking rock. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, it's Makkelijk and... Keep on grilling. Keep on grilling, that's right. Morrison said it. It's not Marshall. You're not Marshall, right? Marshall? No. Martian? No. You're Morrison. Yes. Morrison, like Jim Morrison. Exactly. Nobody gets it. Why does nobody get it? Well, I think it's your pronunciation. My pr nothing wrong with my pronunciation. Come on. Maybe we should um, change it. Give you like a nickname. Yeah. What should it be? We could call you Jim. Makes it more easy. Uh, I don't like Jim. What do you like? Mo. They call you Mo, right? Your friends. No. They do. No, definitely. What did they call you then? They don't call you Morrison. That's Mori. too long. Mori. Ah, see? Here's the truth. <laughs>